Cup career comes to a close. She is one of three players, male or female, to score in five World Cups. Ahead of the group finale versus Jamaica, she was asked to reflect on her legacy. Sabe o que é legal? É que quando eu comecei a jogar, eu não tinha um ídolo no feminino. Vocês não mostravam o jogo do feminino. Como que eu ia ver? Como que eu ia entender que eu poderia chegar a uma seleção e me tornar uma, uma referência? She is a quote machine, particularly at the World Cup. She gets to the point and hits hard. You've had a pretty good relationship with her going back, let's say, maybe 2006 or so. How has she changed women's soccer? I mean, she's transcended the sport on and off the field. My first World Cup was in 2007. And we got embarrassed by Brazil in that World Cup, and, and she scored a beauty of a goal, and uh, she's carried this Brazil team for so long and won World Player of the Years and, you know, all of these other accolades. But in seeing her recently at a little commercial shoot that we did, you could tell that she was longing for that World Cup victory. And, and you know, we're seeing somebody who is of GOAT status, who has done so much for girls around the world, for myself. Uh, she's been a, an incredibly difficult player to play against, most skillful player that I've ever seen. And she will hands down go down as, as one of the greatest of all times. There will never ever be another Marta because she truly was so special. And uh, I'm just thankful that I was unfortunately able to play against her. Um, but she was just an unbelievable person and, and player. The impact that she's had, I mean, you see it in that moment with Bunny Shaw. Like, I remember speaking to Bunny years ago, and Marta was her hero. And you're, you're talking about a player that not only changed the game in her country, but changed it around the world. And I used to love playing against her because she just has that passion, that enthusiasm, but then I hated it because she was so good. And she continues to be good. She continues to impact. I mean, you saw it at the end of the last World Cup, the passion she had in that speech. And that's a testament to why many of those Brazilian players got into the game. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, they lost tonight, but she's helped raise the bar and the standards of the women's game and then been that big name that everybody wanted to cover. You could turn on any channel in anywhere in the world and they were talking about Marta. And I think few people will ever be able to say they did what Marta did. Actually, nobody will. She, she became the very thing that she said when we were listening to her, she didn't have uh, as a kid. And, and it's not just Brazilian players. And to be quite honest, it's, 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 it's not just soccer. Your point, she transcended and people knew her, you know, the one name and who she was for what she did on the soccer field. But she added all of this other wonderful stuff in the way that she talked about it. And, and not just talked about it, at times demanded that you pay attention, demanded that others uh, respect and give the proper time and the resource to these players and to the game. And so when we see a South Africa or when we see a Jamaica, or, you know, the list goes on and on. When we see these teams have these wonderful moments, we, we all start on the back, uh, on the shoulders of others that have come before. And so when it is written, you know, the whole history of not just the women's game, but the game of soccer, Marta is going to be a huge, huge part in the things that she did and the legacy that she has and the impact that she has had on now multiple generations of soccer players who now do, unlike her, have someone to look up to. On that proverbial Mount Rushmore of women's soccer, they've built Marta's face on that already. Tomorrow, the final two knockout stage spots will be claimed. As Group H comes to a close, all four nations still alive, South Korea, they square up against two-time champs Germany. That one live on Fox. Morocco meets group leader Colombia live on FS1. And the U.S. back in action on Sunday. They face Sweden in the round of 16. Coverage live on Fox. We leave you now with images from another eventful day down under. Cross headed down goal. USA versus Sweden yet again. Jamaica have knocked out the mighty martyr and Brazil.